Thanks for watching another video from Code Blue Catholic. And I'm following up with the video that I posted last week about why I got out of the rat race. Because I really think this is an important topic because to a certain extent, a lot of you that are watching this video are most likely in the rat race. You have a nine to five job. You may, may, you may or may not like it. Um, studies, I'm gonna go statistics. Study says that 90% of the people that have jobs hate it, even with careers, hate it. So it really brings me down to this. Why, why do you work? Why do you stick to a job that you hate? You spend eight hours a day. I used to work with people that spend 12 to 14 hours a day, five to six days a week in a miserable job that they absolutely hated. <laughs> and I often felt sorry for them because that's half, that's more than half of the amount of time that you're awake during the day, assuming that you sleep for eight hours. Um, so with that said, it's really important to realize what's important in life. And after my wife passed away, um, she died very untimely and relatively young. It completely changed the way I thought and the way I view life. It was a complete paradigm shift. The things that used to matter to me, such as materialism and being a good provider and making lots of money, no longer matter to me. And the things that didn't used to matter to me, such as going to church, being a good Catholic, being a good person, um, trying to help others per se, um, I, I didn't really prioritize those things. So because, because I, I changed um, internally, I felt like, after she passed away, I started seeing things in life. I see you become more observant because when, whenever you suffer a traumatic situation or whenever you go through something that's life altering, life changing, it changes you. I don't care what, what people say, but it really does. It changes you. I never met somebody that's lost somebody really close to them that they loved untimely or had a brush with death or even had a, a really serious accident that they didn't come out of the situation um, looking at life in a different scope. And that's basically what happened to me. I, I got out of the situation looking at life in a totally different scope. So what I started doing was that when I was able to go back to work, obviously I, I, I spent a lot of time grieving and I still am in some ways. But when I went back to work, I started looking at things from a totally different perspective. I looked at these people and I didn't, I used to not realize how much we all took for granted our time on earth and how little we, we put our emphasis towards helping others and um, thinking about God and where we will be for eternity. We rarely do that. We're so busy, especially in today's day and age, we're so busy getting to work and making those deadlines and and get on our social media to show the world how great our lives are and and buying cars, buying houses or whatnot, sending our kids to school. I mean, we're, we're all caught up with we're all caught up with those things um, as parents or even as students or um, even as single people. You get caught up with with life in general and you tend to forget the important things in life. So what I realized when um, I looked around my coworkers. I, real, well, I realized that they were taking their time and the people around them for granted big time. They just made the assumption that when they got home from work, the kids would be home, wife would be home, or, or they made the assumption that they were going to live for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years or whatnot. So they made these, these long plans. They were not thinking about right, right in here right now. They were sacrificing way too much of the present for the future. So, in essence, they're really not living at all. They were um, thinking too far ahead or too far in the past. And that's why I think people were so miserable. Not to mention they had jobs that were very stressful. So, I decided to quit my job. I, um, I realized what was important in life, and I quit. Financially, I was not really in a place to quit my job. Um, you know, I, I still had a lot of bills and... Um, I, I, had a, I had a lot of things that I still needed to button up. So financially, I really was not in a good place, um, let alone to quit my job, but I did. 
Because I realized at that point that God's going to take care of me. I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but you know, all, my, every, all my friends and family thought I was nuts when I told them I was quitting. And they said, oh my gosh, what are you going to do? What, what are, you know, how are you going to make money? That's, that's what they always say. How, how are you going to make a living? And my response was, it's going to be okay, you know. Um, it's going to be all right. God, God will take care of me. And he, and he, does, he did, and he still does. So with that said, when I quit my job, the first thing I did was I, each day I invited a friend over or a family member over, somebody that I really cared for, and I would cook him dinner. And I would um, sit down, with, have a nice dinner with them over a glass of wine, and I would just tell them how much they meant, meant to me and um, how grateful I am to, to be able to spend this time with them because if I was working this corporate job, I wouldn't be able to go to the grocery store in the afternoon and buy the food and spend two, three hours cooking and um, have this nice meal with them. And looking back, that was, that was a really good decision because you know what? Some of my friends along the way, they got um, COVID came along and some of them got really sick. And, and I didn't get to see them for a while because of the quarantine or um, because they got COVID. And looking back now, I'm so grateful that I took that time to, to spend with them and tell them what I really felt. Because like I said earlier, there's no guarantees in life. Security is an illusion. And if you're living a life where you think that your future it will be perfect and everything's going to go as planned, um, I got some news for you. <laughs> you're going to be disappointed because most of the time, Things don't always go as planned. And unless you realize that, you're going to be able to adjust a lot better. Because God does what he wants to do, when he wants to do. And nobody has a monopoly on God. That's what one of my good friends who was a, who was a priest told me. He says, that's the first thing we learn in theology. So I think it's very normal, because that's what I did after um, Kelly passed away. I got really angry at God. And I think it's very normal to get angry at God whenever things don't go your way. However, I think all of us go through this fork in this road, right? We choose to either go in one direction where, where we're so angry at God that we, we walk away from the church. We become alcoholics or drug addicts or run with the wrong crowd and basically self-destruct and live a really bitter, empty life. Or we could choose to accept what happened. And, and just deal with it, more or less. Carry your cross like Jesus did. Carry your cross and understand that that happened. And hold yourself accountable that bad things do happen to good people. And good things happen to bad people. And it's just part of life. And the sooner I think you realize that, that you got to deal with it. And, and you got to change the way you're currently living and appreciate what you have in life, I think the more fulfillment you will find. But most importantly, put, put God at the center of your life and let him lead you where, you, where he wants you to be. Just pray to him because he's going he's gonna to answer your prayers. You just got to have faith. And he will put you where you need to be and he will take care of you. It may not be how you think it is or envision your life will be, but... At the end of the day, I, I promise you that he's not going to let you down. And you're going to find yourself living a very fulfilling life, a very happy life, and a very peaceful life. And I think ultimately that's what all of us want. We all want peace. We all want love. We all want fulfillment in what we do every day. Every day. We want to find meaning in our work. And unfortunately, sitting in an office all day and um, doing whatever may or may not have a lot of meaning to a lot of people. So ultimately, that's all your decision. You need to find meaning in your life and uh, be gracious, be grateful for every moment that you have on this earth, especially if you live in America right now. I mean, we, we are one of the most richest countries on earth. And there's so many resources here. I mean, we waste so much food here. There's, there's people starving all over the world. We have so many resources from school to, to food to housing. 
you know, be grateful for that because there's a lot of people in this world that do not have that, that option. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that bad things happen in life. Life is not easy. Carry your cross. Trust in God. Pray to Him. Talk to Him every day. And you will not be disappointed. God bless you all and hope you have a great day.